Wednesday, uh, maintenance day for Peron? Yep, maintenance day for Peron. So um, uh, we expect to have them tomorrow. You're up. I mean, I think you'll have 12 hours before. You don't need to call anybody. Uh, no, Sonny is uh, going to give it a go tomorrow. So he'll be available to us. And then uh, we may call someone up just because we're sitting on 12. Uh, obviously, we hope to have Bert. Uh, on the West Coast trip sometime, but I don't know if we want to go to California uh, without um, without uh, an extra body. Is he more likely uh, Anaheim than already on Probably, Saturday? Probably, yeah. yeah. I don't think Saturday would be realistic uh, for Bert in L.A. What, what if you missed uh, without, without him in the lineup? Offense, goals. Um, I've liked our team play. Obviously, we're, we're defending well, not giving up a lot. Uh, but he's an elite scorer, uh, our best scorer. So, um, you know, as great as our defense has been and chances against, uh, our chances for have been down, uh, which is understandable. Uh, and he would help, obviously, some offense. Bertuzzi today was filling in for Perron on that second line. Have you thought about exactly where he'll slot back in? Because you guys have had some success. Yeah, no. That's uh, when we get him back, we hope to have that. Uh, luxury of some tough decisions, but again, we need to get there. You know, we, we talked pre-game yesterday, and we talked about the luxury of having everyone back, and, and then left goes down. So um, we, we just need to get there. And just kind of with that, Pew Suter. I know we all talked about him being a healthy scratch at the beginning of the year, and you said, you know, it's a long season that doesn't really matter. But just his ability to get into the lineup and now he's playing on the top line that makes decisions even harder for you I'd imagine yeah we just repeat we play him anywhere yeah. so he, he compliments anyone and um, his hockey sense helps him play fast and obviously those two in Larks and Raymond play fast so he's complimented that line very well um, when he's been up there Yeah, you know, we'll see tomorrow. Um, with with Peron not available today, uh, we'll probably do an option in the morning. We're not going to be able to work on it, so I don't know what we'll have a look. But, you know, we, we could look at both there. Um, we like that fact that with Raymond and Sunquist, it gives us two righties and having their stick available for uh, David Peron in the half wall. Uh, but, you know, Sonny's obviously a bigger body. Um, Probably not as good as a stick as a razor. So, I mean, they're both quality and both power plays have looked good with those guys in that spot. When you looked at the tape, Derek, I mean, power play, I mean, were you still, I mean, were you a little disappointed? Or no. Did you, okay, it was disappointed didn't go in. I mean, anytime, we literally had doubled. We, our power play outchanced Montreal last night the entire game. So, it is, it is what it is. It'd be more frustrated if you're not getting looks. When you have that much power play time, yes, you're going to have those great A's, those good looks, those chances, but there's going to be times it doesn't look sharp. And it was tired. Um, just the reality of going back out. And, and then, then our skill, you know, I was a little concerned about going into the third period with how much power play we had of just our guys being gassed. And I was worried to be able to generate any offense and try to manage it early on I think you saw those first six, seven minutes. We just flowed the four lines, and I actually you know, took some minutes probably away from Dylan. And luckily, I mean, he, the, he was the guy who got scored. Sure enough, he was the guy playing all the minutes down the end of the power play. So, no, when they're not getting looks is when you'd be concerned. We went through the stretch beginning of the year, too, where it had a ton of chances, didn't go in, and then it went in. So I'd even go back to the Ranger game, the, uh, the looks we had in that power play. So... Uh, not concerned. Sorry. Um, hopefully this is going to make sense. You said something during the preseason about you know, the roster wasn't even set, about how this team was competitive. It was a preseason game. They were angry that they lost. You can tell when they come out here and speak after a, not a good performance how much they really have, I don't know, bought into it perhaps. Are you somewhat pleasantly surprised that this has come together or it seems to be coming together maybe quicker than anybody anticipated? Uh, well, the will, that, that's, that's care. So I'm not surprised on that. Um, 
like even last night, obviously they were very dejected and disappointed because we we played well. And again, when you, I mean, you just you don't. A lot of it was power play based. But you don't outchance someone two to nothing, two to one in this league. And unfortunately, we lost last night, so I, they were dejecting that. But even I look back this morning, I was a, I was very happy to get the point. Um, they're a really tough team to trail. They they easily could get one in transition, go up two goals. We didn't have legs in the third, and we still found a way to hang in there. So, yeah, I think the will is good, and I think that's got us through the injuries and some results early on. Now, with that said, you know, we're going to have bumps in the road. Um, it's, you know, we, we just haven't had went through that yet. So I, when, when you say it's come together this quick, it, it, in some ways, a little surprised. Um, but you know we're still going to go through some bumps in the road in the process. Derek Dillon said yesterday you talked about baseline. Are you seeing, especially since Buffalo, just commitment to hanging in there and, and sticking with what works, even when the results aren't there? Because they weren't there in the first period at Rangers. Uh, yeah, we were both games yeah. absolutely. Uh, I think it's a credit to our guys showing a little maturity already and sticking to the game. Uh, sticking to what we're trying to do and trying to be and not chasing it. These last two games were perfect examples. Both periods, first periods, we probably deserve a better fate. In both periods, we are down, and we just stuck with it. And then, and then even last night, you, know, you guys know in this league, the percentages of winning, trailing, going into the third, the percentage of even pointing, trailing, going to the third is very low. And the fact uh, we did that last night was a good sign. So, yeah. Um, but, again, it's, it's still I want to be cautious on this is just a small sample size. Uh, you know, we're still going to go through bumps. Um, I would love to keep it at this level in all year. Um, but, you know, we're, it's still we're going to be fighting for that consistency. When you look at the power play, zero for seven, hit a five on three. Uh, but you outchance Montreal, as you said. Is it the old hockey cliche that you just have to say that, you know, Jake Allen was on last night and you could get a pass to him? Or? Yeah, there's some of that. Obviously, we probably, we, you know, analytically, I mean, our expected goals in the power play was almost a three. Like, we, we should have scored. But with that said, we could have been harder on Jake Allen. And, you know, I mentioned that last night and that, you know, we didn't get his eyes. You know, we didn't get his space. We didn't get a rebound around the net. When a goalie is dialed in like that, and you could see very early Jake Allen was dialed in, you got to be harder on him. And you just you got to take his eyes. You got to take his space away. You got to be harder on the net. And you know, we failed to do that for the most part. Last night, uh, Matt Luff obviously said that same timeline as Dina. Now the morning after, how is he doing? How are the yeah. Doing? He, no, he, it's a, uh, he's having surgery tomorrow. He's going to be out 10 to 12 weeks. So I didn't, well, I, don't, I don't think I said the same timeline. What I said was going into the game, right after the game, it was an unknown, but it was similar to Zena where it was going to be long term. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I said six to eight. If you interpreted that, I apologize. But uh, yeah, from word this morning, he's going to be out uh, 10 to 12 weeks. What's the surgery? Uh, to his upper body, yeah, his wrist. Yes.